Starting this list off today, gents, I've got wireless headsets. Yes, I've gone over to the dark side. Now, seriously, gents, I wish I would have gone over to quality wireless headsets a long time ago. I was using cheap wired headsets for a long time. They didn't fit in the ear properly. They had these cords. These make a difference. And for those of you like me that listen to audiobooks all the time or out there listen to music, you care about a quality experience, the noise reduction actually works. So I'm very happy that I picked these up and I just wish I would have picked them up sooner. Next up on this list, gents, let's talk watches. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking, why do I need a watch? It's redundant. I've got a phone. It tells me the time. Yes, that's true. In fact, your phone is probably more accurate than any watch you can wear on your wrist. But watches are more than just about telling time. First up, they're more convenient. So you don't have to reach in your pocket and pull out the phone. No, you can just simply look there at the wrist. It's a lot more, let's just say, not in people's face whenever you're trying to decide, am I gonna leave or stick around for this meeting? In addition, a great looking watch from a reputable brand can be a status symbol and a conversation starter. Why? Because there are guys into watches and they recognize their own. They recognize guys that are into the same thing and it's a great way to just get the conversation started. Now, let me be clear. I'm not saying you gotta go out there and spend 20 thousand dollars on a watch. Now, there are inexpensive options out there for 20, 30 bucks. You can pick up a decent sports watch. Yeah, it's going to be digital. Yeah, it's going to be quartz, but it's going to tell the time and it's going to get the job done. And if you're willing to spend closer to a hundred dollars on a sports watch, you can find one that's probably tougher than you. All that being said, I do recommend you pick up something versatile. For me, it's going to be steel dive watches. This one right here, what I like, you've got the silver with a little bit of gold, a little bit of color. This I can dress up, I can dress it down, but find one that suits your needs. These next three accessories, I'm putting them into one point and that is quality glasses with a protective case with a microfiber cloth to properly clean the lenses. Now you've heard me say it once and I'm going to say it again. Buy quality. Cry once about the price, but buy quality and make sure you take care of it. Seriously, gents, quality glasses, whether they be reading glasses, blue blockers, sunglasses, you want to make sure they've got great lenses. You want to make sure that the frame is made from a material that's going to last. And when you buy quality, take care of it. Story time. So these glasses right here, I did not put them away in the case. I left them down. I did this again and again, fell into that habit. And guess what? I got a scratch right there in the center. I put these things on and I was shocked. I mean, these were my favorite shades. And all of a sudden I had this scratch right there in the center of the lens. Yeah, you can't fix that. Quick question. How many times have you misplaced your glasses? You know what I'm talking about, your favorite sunglasses. You took them off and you don't know where you put them and you end up losing them. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Well, what about those of you guys that use readers? You put them down one evening, you can't find them. The next day you have to go buy another pair. All of a sudden you have seven pairs floating around your house and you can't find any of them. Well, gents, if that sounds anything like you, you need to check out Click Readers, the sponsor of today's video. They make the most convenient glasses you're ever gonna find. Seriously, gents, check this out. Boom just like that. Now, 20 years ago, these guys came out and they redefined the eyeglass industry. They're the first company to actually get this magnet right in here and just look at how that comes together. Why is this innovative? Because you always know where your glasses are. So on this list of accessories, I wish I would have grabbed earlier, blue blockers. Guess what? They've got blue blocker glasses. If you're not familiar with these, you put these on when you're at your computer and they allow your eyes basically not to get strained by the light. I'll tell you, as a guy that sometimes spends 10 hours in front of my computer. Yeah, I run an online company and I've got a few businesses. These are a lifesaver. Now, besides the patented magnetic technology, these glasses are also high quality and built. These are great quality. And that's a big deal because any of you guys that have bought cheap glasses, you know what happens. You wear them once and they're okay. You think you got a great deal, but they just degrade very quickly. They get scratched quickly. All of a sudden they break, they fall apart. Guys, it's worth spending a little bit more to get quality that's going to last you. They've also got a display adjustable temple feature. This allows the glasses to fit pretty much on any head size. And by the way, if you're wondering, are these glasses going to look odd? Are they going to always go together? I tried so many different ways of trying to, you know, get these to connect on the sides. They only connect the way they should and they look good. And of course, they've got free returns, free shipping, free exchanges. So to try them is completely risk-free. Gents, I'm linking to click readers down in the description of today's video with the best deal you're going to find on the web. Hmm. What do you guys think? Maybe these? Hmm. Again, gents, use that link down in the description of today's video to get the best deal on the web. Next accessory, I wish I would have picked up sooner. Guys, the thin wallet. What I love about a thin wallet is it forces you to make a choice. You can only take, in this case, I only have four cards that I carry. That includes identification, 
credit card. So you got to make a decision. You can also slip maybe a couple of bills of cash in there. Point being is you're not filling this full of receipts and all those other cards that you don't need. Yeah, those of you with the George Costanza wallet, guys, this is causing back issues. Make sure to go slim. And as an added bonus, as you can see, I've attached this to my phone. Absolutely love it. All of a sudden, I'm not looking for my phone and my wallet. I've got them all in one place. And yes, I hear you guys down the comments saying, well, if you lose that, you lose everything. So I watch it. I am very careful with this. Seriously, you guys have no faith in me. <laughs> okay, maybe you have just a little bit, hopefully. Next up, a quality pen. This does make a difference, especially if you journal, if you like to write, if you are someone like you're a lawyer, you're a consultant, you've got to put your signature down. You want to have a pen that signifies who you are and what you stand for. I get it. Some of you guys are, come on, this gets the job done, this cheap pen. If I lose it, what happens? But here's the thing. If you are about to sign that signature to take ownership of a house for the first, you're the first person in your family to own a house. Guys, do you want to sign with something or do you want to actually have a pen that's going to signify that moment? And you don't have to go with a fancy mom. Blanc that costs hundreds of dollars with your name in it. Thank you, Ryan, for the gift. Appreciate it. No, there are many other options out there. This solid feeling, great looking pen right here costs less than 20 bucks. I could actually take it and I could get my name engraved on it. It's a nice solid pen and it feels a lot more sturdy. And yeah, you know, if someone gives you this, wow, nice pen. You're going to get a compliment. Not your thing. You want a pen that can also be a weapon? Well, there's tons of tactical pens out there. 20, 30 bucks. You can find some pretty good options. This one, besides being a pen, is also a deadly weapon. Weapon. The next accessory I wish we would have picked up sooner, wearables. And I'm talking about smart watches. I'm talking about wristbands. I'm talking about rings that actually track your body. Talk, track your heartbeat, track how you're sleeping. When you go exercise, all this information is being fed into a database. Absolutely. I love this technology and I resisted it for a while. I'm a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. I'm like, hey, I don't want to give out all my information. They don't need to. But you, all of a sudden you start doing it and you realize when I'm tracking and I can see that I'm waking up consistently at the same time every night, you start to ask questions. Why am I waking up? We'll find out. You know, we let our little wiener dog sleep in the bed sometimes. Guess what? She gets up and, oh, it makes sense, but that all of a sudden I sleep, see my sleep being interrupted and I realize, you know what? I'm going to throw her in with my son. You know, we, we eventually we'll get her and we'll get her to sleep on her own bed. Point being is when you see problems and you measure it, when you understand, hey, I thought I was running four times, five times a week, but I'm only actually running two times a week for the last month. I need to step that up. And you can't lie when you have that data being collected and you see it right in front of you. And what is measured is improved. And that's why I love wearables because I can see my heart rate. I can see how I'm sleeping. And when you see this information, you can improve it. The next accessory I wish I would have started wearing sooner, headwear tons of options here. But how to wear a hat and not look like a tool? Guys, I've got you covered in this video right here. Seriously, I break out how to wear headwear. I go over different styles. It is one of my, I think one of my better videos. It didn't get crazy views and that's too bad because it's a solid video. Guys, go check this out. If you've remotely been interested in headwear, this is the video you want to check next.